Cat and the Bird, a children's book inspired by the artwork of Paul Clay. I had everything I needed to be happy in my house with the blue shutters. I had a cozy basket, warm milk, and toys. Grass to nibble on and a shiny tag on my collar with my name engraved on it. But my perfect house was a gilded cage. It was locked up tight. The key turned around twice. So far, so from morning to evening and from evening to morning, I sat by the window and dreamed. The garden outside was so wonderfully beautiful. When I closed my eyes tight, I could sense the scent of the chestnuts, the red leaves of autumn, the soft carpet of moss beneath my paws, the murmuring of the stream, and high up in the treetop, you. How beautifully you sang, how deliciously beautiful. For ages, I would listen to you and lick my lips. I have to admit, I wanted to catch you very much. One stroke of my claws, a snap of my teeth, and crack. I felt I could already taste you in my mouth completely forever. But something inside me was even stronger than the urge to devour you. Deep inside, I envied you. You were free, free to fly wherever you wanted, to come and go as you pleased, you were free, and I was captive. So I devoured you only with my eyes, and then I called out to you. Hello, bird. Your beak is so sharp. You can bore holes into a tree trunks. Why don't you peck on those bars of my prison? You answered me with a song. A cat in a cage. What a funny sight. But would I be wise to help you? How could I be sure that you won't eat me up? I looked at you straight in the eyes and said, I give you my word, plain and simple, and I promise it is a promise. This was enough for you. Peck, peck, without a moment's hesitation, you began to peck away the bars of my cage. And soon I was free, scampering after you on the roof of my house with the blue shutters, bounding from tower to the bridge and from the bridge to the chimney. I sprang to the edge of the horizon and there I danced for joy in the moonlight. Thank you, little bird. I will never forget you. Your image will always be engraved in my memory, completely, forever. This is the painting of Cat and Bird by Paul Clay. It was painted in 1928. It is an oil and ink on canvas. You can see this work in person at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City.